service headlines and some good news for that Pottawatomie County storm Kyle the one we were just looking at um, they are going to let the tornado warning expire for northern Pottawatomie County so that's kind of what we were just looking at we were looking at the base of that cloud not under an immediate threat of a tornado coming out and that could change but for right now the uh, tornado warning for Pottawatomie County near Shawnee northern Pot County will expire at 6 for the time being um, they're going to keep the uh, the uh, supercell as a severe thunderstorm warning, but as we head up here towards Noble County and Payne County, that tornado warning is not going anywhere right now. So we still see the strong circulation south of Perry, south of U.S. Highway 64. Still waters down here, still water at U.S. Highway 51 is south of this circulation. So if this storm is going to produce a tornado, it's going to be right here. It's going to be east and northeast of Orlando. It's going to be south of Perry and it's going to be southwest of Summer. And Kyle, keep on labeling those streets for me, please. It's going to be north of U.S. Highway 51. So the circulation, the rotation right now in between Highway 64, Highway 61, sorry, I take that back, Highway 64 and Highway 51. What you see there on your screen, that's Chris Novi's shot, and he's got eyes on the base of the storm, so we're looking right at the base. Don't see anything really coming out or lowering just yet, but that could change at any time. Things have been changing so quick this afternoon, and that, should, that shouldn't change. That shouldn't stop at all. So you have your rotation right there, circulation. It is northeast of Orlando. It is in the vicinity of State Highway 86, and it's in between Highway 51, north of Stillwater, and U.S. Highway 64. And what you also have right here is a huge, giant hail core. So this could easily be dropping golf ball to tennis ball-sized hail as it tracks out of Orlando. And what Kyle has on there, that's one of our features. And that kind of gives us an indication of what the hail sizes may be. And we're looking at three plus inch hailstones. That is a huge chunk of ice. So over three inches, that's a bigger, that's bigger than a baseball. So we're talking about larger than baseball, possibly approaching softball sized hail for that one area of the storm. And we have, looks like the average hailstones are somewhere between an inch and a half and two inches. And that would be golf ball to tennis ball size, and that's moving right towards Morrison, right towards Summer, the hail core is south of Perry, it's northeast of Orlando, and it's north, or at least on the north sides of Stillwater. So, hey Kyle, zoom out a little bit, and show everybody where Stillwater is at. Um, U.S. Highway 51, of course, leading right into Stillwater. U.S. Highway 177, which we've been talking about a lot, U.S. Highway 177, as you go south, goes right through um, or goes near Roth and Hickory where we had a huge violent tornado um, just a little bit, just a little while ago. So again, U.S. Highway 177 north, we have a strong rotation coming through. U.S. Highway 177 south, you know, between I'd say a half hour ago and two hours ago, we had a large violent tornado that's doing, or I'm sorry, that did damage, is possibly still doing damage in parts of south central Oklahoma. The reason why I'm not focusing on that storm anymore, it has left the Fox 25 viewing area, so we're not leaving anyone hanging down there. That storm, the rotation of the tornado has left the Fox 25 viewing area. The two storms right now that we need to focus on with the tornado warning is this storm right here, the Pottawatomie County storm. The tornado warning is still in effect, but it's set to expire in about eight or nine minutes. So, hey Nick, we have you on the phone. We're up towards Stillwater right now. We're working our way down, so go ahead and tell us what you have and what you see. Yeah, I'm just right here by the Grand Casino on I-40. I'm looking at the big
watching this and it is becoming disorganized which for the time being is, is good news but we don't get excited about anything that's been happening this afternoon and this evening because we've seen you know the tornadoes go up and go down disorganization and then get, getting their act together so that's been happening all day these storms have been cycling and sometimes producing a tornado sometimes a large violent tornado as of right now what's going to happen with this northern Potawatomi storm leaving Shawnee um, the weather service is going to leave this as a severe thunderstorm the rotation is still significant not significant enough right now to produce a tornado that's you know that's under an imminent threat threat let's just say but we are watching the storm as it leaves northern Pottawatomie county our tracks through what we're going to do right now is zoom out and uh hey kyle just go ahead and slowly zoom out because i want to see what's happening south central they're going to work our way north too anthony i still believe you're on the storm i'll see you near shawnee go ahead yeah, that was fine to keep up, but yeah, that's the problem. Uh, well, Anthony's ready. Hey, Anthony, you with me? Anyway, okay, we'll get back to Anthony, but that's his shot there on the left-hand side of your screen. Also, there it would be at least our sixth or seventh tornado of the day, it seems like. So, right there is the Noble County, Payne County border, Supercell tracking slightly east, east northeast at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. Huge hail core right here, so east southeast sides of Perry getting hammered right now with some at least medium to large sized hail and looks like the largest hailstones could be anywhere from golf ball to tennis balls possibly even larger than that so you can see Chris's shot on the left hand side of your screen you can see a lowering right there you can see if that storm is going to produce a tornado it would be right here 